The constellation's first ghost sighting dates back to 1861. Perhaps the, the, the best documented story pertaining to this ship occurred during the Civil War and appears in the diary and journals of some of the ship's crew. Now, the story talks about a fellow who was locked in the ship's brig and who saw two of his fellow shipmates who had died recently appear before him. Now, attention was brought to this when the fellow in the brig began to sing. It's all for me beer and tobacco, for a spent all me tin on lasses drinking tea. When the Marine Guard arrived and asked him why he was making such a sound, and he told the guard that the two sailors who had appeared had commanded him to sing so that they could dance. Now, of course, there was nothing there for the Marine to see, but he did find five buckets that were stacked very awkwardly, and despite the pitch of the ship and its movement, refused to fall. Um, you have to remember that people back in the mid-19th century were very superstitious, and I should say sailors were extremely superstitious because there was so much at sea that was unknown. And so they probably thought that this was as a result of the, uh, the ghost of the cook's apprentice. So, um, uh, you know, they probably thought it was true, and who knows, it might be. No one's ever tried to scientifically explain ghosts before, and that's, that's pretty much exactly what we're trying to do here. This is an electromagnetic field detector. Specifically, it's a single-axis electromagnetic field detector, and it's used for detecting electromagnetic fields. This multimeter here converts the voltage into a field of measurement called milligauss, which is the measurement used for measuring magnetic fields. We use these devices like this, which is a thermocoupler thermometer. It uses a differences in the electrical resistance of the air to give you an accurate air temperature reading. What's great about this is it detects the air temperature three times every second. So it's very fast. It's very, very accurate. So this is actually a helium filled balloon and underneath here we actually have a little pinhole camera and it's remote control operated so that we can actually fly it into different locations and uh, get images that we need to get that we can't actually walk into ourselves. Vince Wilson and his team let the hot air balloon camera loose, choosing to concentrate on this technological device as the primary instrument of their ghost hunt. For three hours, this remote control camera moves silently below the decks of the Constellation. But no anomalies were picked up. The team chose to focus on the area where the ghost of a former captain of the Constellation has been repeatedly seen. USS Constellation, the Revolutionary War Era Constellation. He found one of the sailors sleeping on duty. And it was not uncommon for lethal punishments to be made onto the sailors at the time. People believe that they have seen
Coast on the current manifestation of the USS Constellation. And I don't know if it's been pointed out yet, but this is not the original Constellation. This ship is not 200 years old. However, beings from the original Constellation do exist in the hull of this ship. The museum has always tried to keep an open mind when it comes to dealing with, with these types of, ph of phenomenon. Uh, because there is documentation in the historic record that talks about unexplained events taking place on board the ship, it's, it would seem somewhat quick of us to simply dismiss them out of hand. However, with the stories that pertain to the original frigate constellation, such as the ones regarding Commodore Truxton, they, they do become somewhat fantastic when one keeps in mind that the three most pervasive stories associated with constellation actually don't even pertain to this ship. They pertain to this ship's predecessor, the frigate constellation which was cut up for scrap in 1853. The museum kind of takes a neutral view, and we, we let people make their own decisions, come to their own conclusions. Um, the, uh, there may or may not be some sort of paranormal activity on board. I have not ever witnessed it myself. Um, I've been told that some people have. I know, you know from my own personal experience, um, wandering around the ship in the dark at night on occasion that um, it can be a little unnerving down there. There you can certainly imagine someone from the ship's distance, distant past uh, appearing and telling you which way, to, which way to turn and what to look for. Well, there is a lot of history regarding ghosts here that would tend to suggest that. The constellation definitely has the possibility of actually being haunted. Despite the skepticism voiced by museum personnel, Vince Wilson and his team make plans to come again. They will continue to collect the evidence needed to build a case for paranormal activity below the decks of the USS Constellation.